unlock. Oh. Okay, you have to adjust the Hawaiian here. Check it out. We're just coming from next door. <laughs> Very convenient, huh? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> King is a delicious brand of donuts. I saw a documentary about their shop and how well the brand was doing. But the famous Asian American owner. Uh, he had some misfortune of going bankrupt from his gambling habits. So let that be a precaution to everybody out there. Uh, don't go gambling too much and lose too much money. <laughs> Does he still own this? I think he's still around, yeah. He's still well known and well liked, but uh, yeah, he felt very bad about his uh, mistakes in life. Uh -huh. mm. Bacon donut. That's bacon. Mm -hmm. Real bacon. Mm -hmm. On a real donut. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at the golden car. Blinding us. Blinding you, huh? <laughs> My goodness. I think he'd like some of our silver paint on his gold paint doors. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to get some. Oh, we're unlocked. Now we continue around the loop road around Oahu to the Dole Plantation. Let's start some music. Hey there, pineapple. Why don't you run and make me one of those Mai Tais? Hey, oh, my drink doesn't need shade. H-A-W-A-I-I, -I, I want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> That's why I choose the seat here. Yeah. Amazing. So I thought the point was to find the exit to this maze. It was a secret exit because the Museum of Science in Boston, you have the mazes and brain games and the maze you have to find the exit. But you're telling me that the entrance is the exit? So we knew where the exit was all along? Yeah. We've been wandering around this maze for nothing? They really got us this time. You got us this time, Dole, with your tourist trap of a maze. But as long as Andrew's having fun. You having fun, Andrew? Yep, okay. It was worth it, I guess. I take a boat or swim. Oh, I would try. I just want to go to Hawaii. H A W A I I. I want to go to Hawaii. Hey, Tommy, what is that? Are you Lily? Like so this tree is macadamia tree. They're green here. Somewhere over the bridge, like in oh, wow. Can you pick one? Uh, I don't think they want me picking them. Oh, okay. Cool. Wait. Oh, oh, it you, just, you just pick it. <laughs> Can I see? So before and after. Uh -huh. Rock. Whoa, look at that inside. That's his. A fresh macadamia nut. You did it. Ooh, that looks more like the macadamia nuts we recognize. <laughs> Let's go. Oh well, next stop. Tell us what you know about Hawaii. Hmm, what do I know about Hawaii? Like the whole history of the place or what? The fact. Fact. <laughs> Where do I begin? Uh, whatever comes to your mind. Uh, it's eight islands, 
the big one's called Hawaii with lots of volcanoes and it's getting bigger because it's adding more volcanic rock and land. And the other islands like Oahu and Maui, they're getting smaller because there's no more land being added, but there's erosion taking place. The erosion washes the land away. So seven islands are shrinking and one island is growing. And it was the 50th state, I think in 1959 it became a state. And Obama grew up here and went to school here. His mother graduated University of Hawaii with a PhD. There's a rainbow on his license plate and a rainbow in the sky. It matches. Valley of the Temples. Memorial Park. So we didn't go into the temple because they charge some money and we've already been to many temples in Japan and other places so we skipped the entry fee, just took a picture from outside and enjoyed the beautiful scenery and got the idea. We heard some gong, gong, gong kind of sacred sounds and we got the feeling and that was enough. And we're driving up Diamond Head Crater. This road's going uphill. So it's probably part of the crater that they built on. But the other side of the crater is right over there. So Diamond Head, the volcanic crater, is like the mother of Oahu because it gave birth to the island with its volcanic rock. When it erupted, it created so much lava that it rose the rock out of the sea and once the rock grew and grew and grew above the sea level the island was born. So this is like the mother of Oahu Island. We're going to see Oahu's mama. Andrew we're gonna go through a tunnel that leads through the crater Yay! Yay! <laughs> so we can get to the inside of the crater to the visitor center. We don't have a reservation, so we have to U-turn, and that concludes our visit to Diamond Head Crater. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Andrew, you enjoy the tunnel? Yeah. Here's the view out of the tunnel. That's a nice view of palm trees by the beach. It's a lot of rainbow stuff around here, like a lot of aloha stuff. <laughs> We're going full Hawaiian here. <laughs> Calling Howard. Hey there, pineapple. Why don't you want to make me one of those Mai Tais? Hey, oh, my drink doesn't need shade. Howard! H -A -A Your food is ready! Hey, we have Howard's food. <laughs> is he pay already? Um, yes, I'm Howard. I don't know, what did you get for me? Uh, I think it's a mixed plate. A mixed plate, that's what it looks like. You have beef, you have fish, and you have chicken. Wow, it's a good portion. Can share with Andrew and it's got a little macaroni salad yep. and rice and tartar sauce for the fish. There we go, mix it up. Mix it up well and then ta -da. something dead with gravy on it. Very nice. I wonder if Howard has picked up his food yet. I hope so. This is very good. If he didn't pick it up, he's missing out. No idea. Oh wow. They're wearing sandal. Yeah. Kind of like our trek in the Taman Nagara rainforest of Malaysia. <laughs> when your sandal broke and you had to walk barefoot through the rainforest. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, there's a big pool of water. What is that, a ukulele? Jump, Andrew. Go. Run and jump. It's like a combination of Wipeout and American Ninja Warrior. Okay, she made it. Nice job. Uh-huh. Like Molly of Denali. Oh my goodness. Yuck. Oh, 
You're squishing down. The loser, okay. <laughs> They've disappeared into the jungle. Mm -hmm. Like a cushion. Mmm, <laughs> like the sequoias in California. Get closer. You can see me press it in there. It's like a sponge? Yeah, very close. See that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Squishy treat. Oh, there's the first mosquito I've seen. Oh. No problem. Beautiful. I don't want to set that thing up again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It actually is soft. More of feel. Mm hmm. Let's feel. guys. It reminded me of what Mark Rober, the famous YouTuber, said at his graduation speech to the MIT students this year. Was His advice for life was sometimes you're going to get to the river and you're going to look for a rock to cross. And you try to jump on one that looks good and sturdy, but it's going to slip out from under your feet. And you're going to fall in the river, but you got to keep your head above water and keep on moving try to get another rock that looks secure and sooner or later you'll find your way across the river if you keep trying and maybe a little help from Papa or <laughs> friends or family and those around you and if you work together then you have a better chance of success so use your people skills if you have good people skills, good communication skills, then people will want to help you and things will usually turn out pretty good at the end. Mm -hmm. This is all the philosophy that you learn from the rock, huh? <laughs> yeah, from the rock. And some other advice I heard from a rapper named Corday on a TED talk mm -hmm. was that you have to see your life as a book or a movie or a story. Not every chapter is going to be perfect, but if you keep going, you want to make the end of the book or the end of the movie or the end of your story or your life epic. My and dad. Yeah. So you leave a legacy, like your reputation for those who follow. You're right. New Englanders are tough. Yeah, we're New Englanders. We're tough. That's why I say Boston strong. <laughs> Of course, many other people use that too. See life in winter <laughs> if you don't know why New England builds up tough. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the winter toughens us up. And the toughest of all claim winter as their favorite season. That's you. <laughs> not me. Not Ian. <laughs> no. I'm not tough. Malaysia. Malaysia. <laughs> like Uncle Roger says, so weak. So weak. I'm so weak. <laughs> no. Ah, Jonathan. Jonathan doesn't do good in mud. Oh my heavens! I need to take a picture. Do you want to know what happened? He grabbed. What happened? He grabbed onto a bamboo to, to like hold onto the side, and the bamboo broke, and he like slowly fell. It was slow. It was slow. <laughs> Learn from other people's mistakes so you don't make your own mistakes in life. Thank you for the lesson, strangers. Then you won't get a chance. Very close, very close, very close. Danger, do not get a mistake. Oh wow. Ooh. That's living life. How do they do it? Oh well that's it.
for them. Oh, wow. Who won the contest? Do you want to take feet pictures now or feet pictures at the end? Uh, we still have to go down. The end then. The Let's end, go. Yeah. I think Joe's going to be the winner. Really? <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. yeah. He's pretty clean compared right. to my toes. You're right. My <laughs> <laughs> dirty toes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> cool. Hey, you have shiny toes. No fail. <laughs> <laughs> the Hula show at Ala Moana Shopping Center starts in 18 minutes, but it's going to take us another 30 minutes to walk down this trail, and then it would take us even more time to get there. So. There's always another hula show on YouTube to watch. It just won't be on our YouTube channel. <laughs> You'll have to find it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Ian, remember your brother-in-law who'd like to go trekking through the rainforest? Uh -huh. And he had the tour guide once that mm -hmm. said, Oh, this isn't a long tour. I'll take you. And they said, How long is it? And he said, Oh, it's so short. It just... It's as long as it takes me to smoke one cigarette. So they said, okay, that sounds pretty short. So they start checking and the guy takes a cigarette and puts it behind his ear. And they keep going for hours through the rainforest. And then the last five minutes when they're coming back, he takes a cigarette out from behind his ear, lights it up, smokes it the last five minutes, puts it out right as they end the trail and the hike. And he said, see, just one cigarette it took. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust that tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> and don't smoke. Those are the lessons to be learned, the moral of the story. He splashed in a puddle and got me wet. <laughs> Put mud on my legs. So you're I don't going. Know how you guys walked in that though. <laughs> yeah, feet are a little sore. <laughs> we were planning on doing this today, but we couldn't resist. <laughs> 30 feet on a dirty trail. And only one spot. Your dad have a multiple spot. How many? All clean. How'd oh. you do that? Nice job. Good nice mom. legs. Was that fun? That's a great question. Was that fun? I'm gonna have to think about that for a while. <laughs> Some aspects of it were fun, yes. I think it's fun. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, right. it's fun. Yeah, right? I'm outvoted. <laughs> Alright, it was fun then. <laughs> Guess I'll go along with the crowd. <laughs> this is our last day in Hawaii. Tomorrow we are going to Australia, Sydney. To meet Matt's parents. Square. Thank you. Hi. Uh, can we have one regular pokey bowl? Hi. <laughs> can I touch him? Yeah, he's friendly. He's friendly. He just likes to lick. So this if he licks you, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's friendly. He's friendly. <laughs> big eyes. <laughs> so big, yeah. yeah. Big eyes. Oh, That's very nice. I love it. I love it. You have it. I love it. I love it. I love it. No, later I pass it to you. That's pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very fresh, right? Mm -hmm. Worth the wait, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, good recommendation! <laughs> we can leave Hawaii now! <laughs> okay, you've eaten all that you want to eat? Yep. <laughs> you've drunk all you wanted to drink? <laughs> yep. You've seen all that you wanted to see? Mm -hmm. You've done all that you wanted to do? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. <laughs> We're leaving! On to Australia.